Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. I'm CG Smoothie, and today I'm gonna show you how to make an animation like this about a Legend of Zelda fairy. So let's get started. Open up a new Blender file, general, and delete the default cube and put in a UV or icosphere, either one, it doesn't really matter. You might wanna simplify it. I'm gonna go 16 segments and eight rings, shade smooth, and shading. First, we need to make sure ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections are on so that we can get the effect of the fairy. Let's make a new material and make the shader emission. I'll go with pink, like the classic fairy, and then up the strength until you get like that nice glow and it's like almost white in the middle. You can also change the world to black so you can easier see it. I might up down it a bit I'll go to 7.5 okay then we want to go into layout add a circle and in edit mode rotate that on the X by 90 bring it over here press F to fill it in with the face and then just proportionally edit it to make the wings I think that's good. Let's go take all of them, extrude them by 0.2, and bring all of them in by 0.1. And then just do the same, but for the small wing. Just make another circle, edit mode, rotate X 90 in edit mode. Bring it down. Fill it in scale it maybe and that looks good now oh yeah and also make sure to extrude it so now just duplicate both of these and in 3d cursor edit sx negative one and there you have it we also might just want to bring them out a little bit more because yeah it looks a little too close and also scale out the fairy itself the ball I think actually we don't need to bring them out just scaling the ball made it look better so for these let's give them a texture well, let's grab all of them and shade smooth and in their vertex change normals auto smooth for all of them create a new material and then control L link materials now in this materials section go into settings change the blend mode to alpha blend change the alpha to something transparent make the base color light blue ish and add shader emission and make that also a light blue and turn down the strength oh and also there's a point light in the scene delete that now that we've got that Let's go back into layout and let's make the armature for this. So make an armature, single bone, edit mode. Let's go into viewport display in front so we can see it better. Bring this out and this down uh, the other way actually. And then extrude this way too and this opposite way too. So now we just link these to the bones correctly. Just pose mode, control P bone and this to that other bone control p bone and then just this one to the root bone okay now make a circle curve scale it out to 10 and then on the armature go to add object constraint follow path and set a keyframe from one, offset is zero, and at like 81, offset to one, target, make sure it's that circle, follow curve and fix position, and animate path. And press T on these keyframes and make them linear, change your end to 80, and let's make the particle effect. Go into particle system, particle settings. Let's make 500 or let's go 250. 
uh, for the number. Render as an object of this sphere. Let's actually just duplicate this sphere and scale it in on itself. Let's delete this particle settings. And then for this object, make it this sphere. We can see that it makes that happen. Let's set the scale to 0 0.75, 0 0.075, and a randomness of one. Let's set the number to 400. Now we should duplicate the entire armature, or just the armature and the sphere that has the particle settings. Duplicate that, set its cache from zero to 81, bake it. And then on the other one, let's duplicate this by clicking this and go from 81 to 160 and move the keyframes of this armature to 81 and 160. Now we should switch our frames to from 81 to 160. Actually switch this to 161 because otherwise it won't render on that last frame. Bake it. And let's give this a new material of just straight alpha. Principled BSDF, alpha blend, none, alpha of zero. Now let's animate the fairy by going into animation and like at 100, the wrong fairy. At 100, let's pose the root by going it down and rotating it down on its local Z. Oh, and make sure you have auto keyframe on. I would also rotate them in on their Y a little bit. Let's see if that's loopable. It is. For some reason, the particles are not following this bone or this sphere. Oh, because we deleted, we baked it. So let's not bake this one until we finished. And let's also not bake this one. Let's delete this armature for now. We'll do that after. If we bake it again, now it should work. Now, while we're here, let's go into pose mode and make the fairy wings flap. So I would start at negative 15 or negative 20 on both angles for now and every 10 every 10 frames bring them closer together on the z so make sure you're doing it on the z local x i guess and just do that for every frame and once you've done two of these frames you can just copy paste them And instead of doing them every 10 frames, I'm just going to scale them down by 2 and do every 5 frames. That looks good. If we go into this camera in object mode, go into this camera, go to 3D cursor and scale it out and rotate it down on the local X and then scale it out a bit more. Oh, and make sure you have the right keyframe. There we go. And let's make sure we recreate that other particle system so it can loop easy. So duplicate this, make a different particle setting, and start from zero and end at 81. Bake that, and now it should loop. It should loop. Oh, <laughs> bring these back to 1 and 81. Okay, now it should loop. Also make sure your hoses aren't in the right area, so. 
Let's just go back to when your keyframes were in the wrong position. Pose mode, all, bring that to negative 80, and now bake it. It should loop now. It does loop. Uh, also make sure your material is right. Okay, and now you have that. If we render it, it should work. Let's just go into our renderer settings, make it an MP4, encoding MPEG-4, high quality, go into your render tab, and let's call that fairy animation, accept, and 30 frames per second, it's good, and just render it. That's gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe for more Blender content and Unity content in the future. And with that, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.